Hello friends, welcome back again on the Italian Cook with Antonio. Today I'm going to do a delicate recipe which is fagottini with ricotta and pear. It's a kind of pasta filled with some ricotta and pear as a shape of a little sack. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribing and give me a nice thumbs up. Okay, all the ingredients now are here, which is, I'm going to use a full pear. Ricotta cheese, parmigiano, mascarpone, a little butter, nutmeg, a touch of salt, and a little heavy cream. Okay, let's go, let's start then. What are we going to do? We're going to peel the pear. We're going to boil the nice ripe. Then we are going to use it. And I'm going to make light puree. Pear puree that I can put together with ricotta and get ready to fill for the pasta. Since I already made the pasta, just going to show you how to do it for beginning and i'm going to use one pair usually goes that's for one person but since you're going to get some more people you can do some more which you're going to add more pair to more a little everything extra so i always try to save time because they take a time to do those pockets <laughs> doesn't matter the way you're going to cut the shape because you're going to be pure and we're going to get it. I'm going to put the pot. What I'm going to do is going to use a little butter. I'm going to put the pear in it. The butter is going to melt it and the pear is going to start cooking. Touch of salt. Ecco, ho tagliato la pera, adesso la buttiamo a bollire, mettiamo qui a fuoco. Ok, we, let, we prepare the pear first, because we need to cool off a little bit before I can smash it. Ecco, quasi pronte. Ehi, we already cooked the pear, now we just put in a bowl, we let it cool a little bit, and then I'm going to mix it. Okay, we cool it off, now we make sure we make it nice. Okay, now I, what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little salt here. Add a little ricotta. Soft. If you don't know what to do, so soft you just add a little parmigiano. Get a little thicker. And the stuff is ready. We let the rest go one minute. Now we are ready to fill it up. Put a flour in. The one we do it, we just show how to do it. The small one, we already made it. Already made the door already. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut them. Fill it. Should we do it? Use the cerchietto. So we do the rings here. I don't want to do so much because I already made plenty. Yes, come another one. It will be about seven. You cut them and everything's come out. Then you put the one in the middle. And you take the extra dough out 
Okay, I'm going to put to the side here. Okay, since I already made, because I took a little time, I'm just going to show you some of the, about six, seven of that, how to feel, how to put them together and let them dry a little bit. Those are già ready. So, questi già sono stati fatti perché hanno un po' di, hanno bisogno di tempo per poterli fare. Quindi vi insegno a come chiuderli e come fare dall'inizio. Since I don't have to put so much, I'm going to use a little spoon and start the pocket. Siccome non devo riempirne parecchi, mettiamo solo un po' col cucchiaino. Che va più. It goes faster. It's okay. What do you do? You get inside like a ravioli. Put them over. Squeeze them a little. And you close them like that. And you do it. Start to do it this way. And you can see become the shape of a like a sack. See that? That's the sack supposed to be. You can do it this way. You can take put between your finger. Do like that. Make sure you close it. Then you put them together on the on top. They get the shape of the sack. Right here. I already put the water to boil. I'm going to start right in the middle. Folding. A little bit. Make sure you don't fill it up too much because when you squeeze it, try to close it, they're going to come out. The fill. Ecco qui il sacchetto. Here, we're done with the sack. Now we put them here. Here, those are the ones I made it, and those are the ones I made that before, which is the same way, just take less time. Okay, now let's go and do the sauce. We already put the water to boiling. Ecco qua, andiamo con la salsa. Aggiungiamo un po' di burro. We put some butter. Vino del merda, lo lasciamo sciogliere, poi aggiungiamo il mascarpone. We're gonna add the mascarpone after. We add a nice spoon. Lasciamo sciogliere, vogliamo il merda del bel. We're gonna add a little parmigiano. Un po' di parmigiano. Panna. Si sente già il profumo. Smell already good. Add a little non me. No. And pinch of salt. Wait a little, get a little thicker. In the meantime, we're going to put the pasta. We're going to start it and put it a very delicate one by one here. I'm going to let it. Those recipes are a list for two people, the one I made it. Questa è una ricetta almeno per due persone. Now I'm going to wait. 
till the boiled, check the sauce. Okay, the water is boiling. I guess they are cooked. Let's train. Sempre che i sacchetti siano cotti. Adesso li prepariamo. Li aggiungiamo con la salsa. Okay, we are ready to put in the plates, get my fork ready. Ecco qua, il piatto è pronto per essere assaggiato. Ok, now this is ready. It's ready to be tested. It's looking good. Mmm, they're delicious. Can taste the pear, the sweetness. Mmm, no, I prepare already. Always accompany with a nice glass of wine. Today I choose a little some rosé. It's a nice blush wine. Cheers, salute. That goes very good together. Salute. I thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Cheers.